Hello and welcome. You are watching No Spin. Who will become Congress president? The elections for the post of the top boss of the Congress may have a new contender. Watch our exclusive on that in a moment from now. This on a day of escalating twists and turns in the Congress Game of Thrones, when the man considered to be the unofficial choice of the Congress leadership, Ashok Gehlot, Rajasthan Chief Minister, flew into Delhi to try and persuade Sonia Gandhi to not make him the top boss. Mr. Gehlot has made it quite clear that he'd like to stay on as Chief Minister, even hinting that he can juggle both jobs. All part of his part tussle with his rival Sachin Pilot, the top contender for the CM's post, were Mr. Gehlot to move to New Delhi. In the mix comes Congress leader and former Chief Minister Digvijay Singh. Mr. Singh is in Kerala as part of the Bharat Jodo Yatra. He joined me from there. Listen in. Mr. Singh, thank you so much indeed for joining us. Now tell me, it appears that for the first time there is no Gandhi who is contesting in this particular election. It's going to be non-Gandhis. Are you worried? There is no concern at all. Whoever wants to contest has got a right to contest, and who doesn't want to contest can't be forced to contest. That's it. So is it clear that Rahul Gandhi is not contesting? The point is, what is the question of acceptance? One has to face reality. Okay, so the reality you have to face, so the reality is that Rahul Gandhi is not contesting. This is what appears to be, but let's wait. Are you persuading Rahul Gandhi to contest? No, our persuasion is always there, but then he once he has made up his mind, it's difficult to sort of uh, change it. But Mr. Singh, can the Congress function with a non-Gandhi at the top? Didn't we function when Mr. Narasimha Rao was there? Didn't we function before when Chitaram uh, <coughs> Kesi was there? The Congress party is is a political party which has got presence in every nook and corner of the country. So therefore, there is no doubt about it. Okay, but there does seem to be a problem because Ashok Gehlot seems somewhat reluctant to give up the post of Rajasthan Chief Minister, even as he's getting ready to file his nomination for Congress President. According to your own rules, can he both be Congress President and Chief Minister? Well, our, our Udaipur resolution does mention this: that one has to stick to one man, one post. So, in other words, Mr. Gehlot will have to resign as Chief Minister. Obviously, yes. Obviously, yes. Okay, but uh, Mr. Gello doesn't seem very keen to do that, uh, Mr. Singh. Mr. Ashok Gello has been a very, <coughs> I would say, loyal uh, supporter of the Congress Party from the student days. He was one of the NSUI uh, leaders who has stuck on from the NSUI to Youth Congress to Parent Congress, and who's had the experience of. Uh, Governance and administration, uh, governance and organisation, both as PCC president and general secretary <coughs> uh, organisation, also in the an organisation, also being minister in the central cabinet and the chief minister, also. So he's an experienced person. Okay, so you think Mr. Gehlot, Ashok Gehlot, will do the right thing and give up one of these posts? No, in the best of his ability, he's going to do his best. Okay, do you think that if Mr. Gehlot moves on to New Delhi, that Sachin Pilot is the right choice for Rajasthan Chief Minister? Well, I've always believed that this it is the CLP which decides. Okay, CLP decides, but do you think personally that Sachin Pilot is a fit candidate to be Chief Minister? Why? 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 Why only pilot? Why are you targeting pilot only? I, I'm not targeting pilot. I'm just simply asking whether he's a he's a capable candidate. But overall, though, uh, Mr. Singh, one of the questions that's come up about this presidential election is whether this is going to be a one-sided election. That essentially, Ashok Gehlot will be signaled as the official candidate for Congress president, and in other words, 
versus someone like Shashi Tharoor, it'll be a walkover for him. Listen to me, Vasu. You've been reporting since last 35, 40 years. Which of the political party has had elections of this kind where at least we go through the process of election? Which other political party goes through the election process? Okay, but that doesn't answer my question about whether this is going to be a one-sided election in Mr. Gehlot's favor. What, what, what do you believe actual election? There will be election if there are two candidates. Okay, my... My question though is, why is Digvijaya Singh not contesting for post of Congress President? Well, let's see. Okay, so you're not ruling it out. Well, everyone has a right to contest. Okay, but can we say that you are actively considering it? Well, you will note the answer on 30th evening. Okay, 30th evening for the benefit of our viewers who may not know, that's the last date of the nominations for the post of Congress President, filing the uh, nomination. Exactly. Okay, but... Uh, Any objection? Ask, right, but if you become... <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you become Congress President, what are the big changes do you think the party needs? On a such an e serious issue, why do you want to take uh, my answer on a hypothetical issue? No, I mean... Uh, hypothetical issue. No, no, I'm asking in a wider sense. What are the challenges before the Congress that you think need to be tackled? Well, it's a, it's a great, I would say, challenge for anyone. Okay. Uh, short and sweet answers from you there, Mr. Singh. What is... In your view, the role of Rahul Gandhi, if he doesn't become or he's not going to be president, what will Rahul Gandhi's role be? Whatever the role the new Congress president assigns. But you think Rahul Gandhi should still play a role in the Congress party? Well, it all depends. It all, all depends post-election. Interesting. Uh, but we are still seeing Rahul Gandhi leading the Bharat Jodo Yatra. So in that sense, regardless of whether he's president or not, is Rahul Gandhi still the face of the Congress? He is one of the 119 Yatris who are walking from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. Okay, but that, uh, Mr. Singh, is not quite an answer to my question. That, that, ans that, answer, that answers your question. He is, okay. one, he is one of the 119. He's one of the 119. But is Rahul Gandhi the face for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections though? You see, who, who, who was the face in 2004? Will you tell me please? Okay, so essentially you're saying that the party went into the 20, 2004 elections without a face. Well, I, I, I put a question to you. You've answered yourself. So good. Okay, so... <laughs> all right. Okay, you. <laughs> okay, okay. All, all okay, right. Okay. No, hold on. No, no. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, last questions to you. At the moment, though, you are saying you might throw your hat in the ring. At the moment, though, it is Shashi Tharoor versus Ashok Gehlot uh, for the post of Congress President. Do you have any preference? Yes. Yes. Well, let the last date of nomination be over. Then we'll, be, we'll know what is the choice. No, but at the moment, between Shashi Tharoor and Ashok Gehlot, are you backing anybody? Prefer anyone? Well, let's see. Let's see. I'm not ruling myself out also. Why do you want to keep me out? <laughs> not, <laughs> not keeping you out. But uh, if you are planning to contest, why not announce it tonight? Why not announce it on NDTV? Openly. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> well, I know, I know it will make a great uh, news for you, but not for me. Not for you. But anyway, you've said okay. quite a lot there. Why do you want to keep me out? You said, indicating pretty much that you look like you might want to throw your hat in the ring. Thanks very much indeed, Digvijay Singh, for speaking to us.